What's up, everybody? It's your boy Mars Man here. And today we're talking about Street Fighter 6. Ever since February of 2022, Street Fighter fans have been hyped knowing that they were going to get their next installment. Street Fighter alongside Mortal Kombat, Tekken, Smash Bros. have always been considered the best overall fighting games out there. And with Street Fighter 6 launching with one of the largest opening sales and player count history of the genre, I was definitely impressed. Me personally, I've been playing Street Fighter since middle school, and I'm honestly a complete noob at the genre, so I was really interested to in seeing whether I can jump back into the game and kick some ass. What makes Street Fighter 6 so good? Is it overhyped? Let's spin kick away right into this. Let's start off with the good. One of the best aspects of Street Fighter 6 has to be the amount that you can do. Having the world tour, which is the mainline story, ranked in social matches, many character stories and local play it honestly feels like there's just so much to do and it gives the vibes of an actual complete game imagine in this era of modern gaming we actually get a game with more than two modes to play and they aren't glitched out of their mind i was literally shocked they didn't have to make a dissertation how broken the modes were especially with how bad these recent releases like redfall and Gollum had been to be honest i've been so happy with the fact that this game doesn't have any major glitches at launch that it instantly made people love the game right out the start if i was going to pick the best mode to play i say the side stories were extremely fun and it did actually add a little bit of lore to the characters which definitely gave you kind of more insight of this entire story each time you fight off against different opponents and they give you a little bit of a kind of side note or side story to go along with them it feels like you have purpose when you fight against different opponents along each character's path ken and luke take the cake for the best side story so far and i definitely enjoyed playing as them with so much to do i didn't feel bored and that's already a step in the right direction one of the funniest and most enjoyable parts of world tour game mode is the character creation essentially once you start out the game you create a character that will act as your avatar when you travel across the street fighter hub this can range from making characters look like shrek to human-sized clams me and my character beef wellington no 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 i'm talking about beef wellington took on the Street Fighter world and whipped everyone's asses. I mean, I should have told my dude to work on his legs some more and at least maybe get a different shirt. Like legit, I think he's wearing an extra small to show off how much beef he has. I honestly died laughing at the character models in the main lobby where dudes named Hot Pocket legit had no neck waiting to fight an opponent. Giving the players so much ability to be creative or funny with designs just gives off a vibe of a fun experience. One of the really cool components of this creation tool that I enjoyed is the fact that you use your character to fight against everyone else in the hub if you really want to. You can legit watch fighters face off in the middle of the entire lobby, almost like a fight club where you can go in front of everyone and maybe even place bets. These matches went from being serious to completely dumb with the fighters that presented themselves. Like I see a dude with, which has massive legs with no upper body fight off against dudes with no neck. It was the most outrageous experiences of my entire life. My character Beef Wellington is the epitome of man and I love to challenge anyone to a fight. In my opinion, the best overall aspect has to be the art design. Most fighting games have the unique art style that separates them from each other in their own way. Mortal Kombat is more brutal with extremely gory kills and fighting animations. Tekken is not as gory and focused more on martial arts. Smash Bros is just wacky with a more social scheme to it. Street Fighter has a very unique art style and how there are just so many different characters from all across the world and that each one of them has their own theme which makes them different and fun to try out. I really enjoyed the wide array of colors and vibrant maps that really make the fights feel really just different. Street Fighter also lands on the comedy and goofiness of the series. The character designs are like hilarious and if you try to make this serious in any sort of way then you're honestly just gonna miss the point. Like Luke has legit anchor arms like he went to the training school with Popeye. Like these fighters honestly have just such fun movesets overall that like they just basically can be dropping power bombs to do spinning kicks and they kind of fit the mood of the overall game i honestly laugh when i made my own character mirror chun lee's move set because it was just so out of place yet perfect seeing beef wellington do a flying spin kick almost had me in tears street fighter is just fun and that honestly is the best part about it you got to give a lot of props to capcom for their art style here it was very different compared to other fighting games we've seen in the past but it was just so kind of appealing to the mass audiences because it was vibrant and just fun with the good we have to talk about the bad one of the issues i saw with the game was that basically the story is pretty much bland basically you're a fighter training in luke's gym and suddenly you're being tested by a rival and then all of a sudden you're thrown into the streets where you basically have to fight everybody in your path of power i mean being able to whip anyone's ass off the street was honestly pretty hilarious like when you're all of a sudden talking to an npc about their day and about their food stand and then all of a sudden say hey i'm gonna just gonna kick your ass you straight up destroy them the person gets up back to what they're doing and it's just 
goes back to normal. I honestly wish reality was like this on the daily. But other than meeting the different teachers and their styles, the story is pretty much the same basic loop over and over again. Each section you learn a new style and there are challenges you need to do in order to learn these different techniques. So many boss battles along the way and that's pretty much it. I mean, seeing the characters in their story mode and, and at different parts of the game and how their interactions with each other are unique it is honestly fun. You're telling me your main goal is just to find real strength that just sucks the fighting tournament is a great thing to have for street fighter but this takes way too long to really get to any meaningful story plot here i'm not asking to sob with emotion while playing street fighter but you really do need to work on the pacing of the stories to feel more balanced so it's not like I have to do a grind just to get to the more fun parts. Unfortunately, Street Fighter characters are madly unbalanced. I mean, most fighting games, especially in the beginning, usually fall into this problem, and it's something that really sucks ass. Like, for example, characters like Manan and Kimberly are just so OP that it really hurts my balls when I see my opponents pick. I mean, obviously, we all know that the new characters that are introduced to a game are always the strongest of them all. But it just feels like certain characters are just useless or straight-up liabilities. One of the components of Street Fighter that makes a difference is the reach of your character, meaning that basically taller characters have an advantage so all of a sudden any character that has legs like a gazelle will be able to scissor kick you every chance they get but even if that's not the case some characters basically are useless in these types of matchups dollism e honda are legit not worth even trying dj is considered to be dangerous because he has such long ass legs but his moveset is so bland and boring that it, there's no lasting power there it's understandable when there's going to be characters that are unbalanced especially in the very beginning of a game like this but overall like you can't have it this bad now now, one of the things that a lot of people were kind of debating over was the fact that they included new controller schemes for Street Fighter. Now, overall, there are three control schemes that are in this game. We have Classic, which takes on the Classic mode, Modern, and then they have the AI Assistant. Now, obviously, Classic gives you way more combos and, in my opinion, is overpowered if you know how to use it. Modern adapts the old systems with a simpler moveset where it combines light, medium, heavy, and special attacks, always just using one button. Definitely helps noob gamers like me, but it still feels like the Classic scheme will always whip my ass in the end. I jump into a ranked mode, and at the top right, once I see them have the Classic control scheme set up, I just know what's about to happen. The AI assistant is honestly cheating if you think about it. It's basically where the AI is telling you to do certain attacks or better yet just does them for you. I don't like to rag on anyone, but doing AI assisted literally means you shouldn't even be in a fighting game, let alone holding a controller. Like, just give it to the robot and play for you. And with the bad, we have to talk about the ugly. Now, maybe that just seems like me constantly bitching because I'm a noob to the series and I'm new to Street Fighter, but the ranking system seems pretty rigged for newer gamers. I went from fighting someone at the same level having a battle of a lifetime taking it to the wire and pulling off an unexpected win then getting placed against a top level street fighter opponent that is like straight up destroying me with no mercy i never felt so brutalized in my life and, and listen i brought battlefield 2042 at 100 dollars. i know what it's like to be abused you know what i'll be devil's advocate maybe they're still testing out all these rank systems and i'm possibly just a bitch at the game but overall you do need to have some sort of revamped or remodeling of the rank system in order to have people who are new at the game go up against other newer players. I shouldn't be going up against a well-experienced Street Fighter 6 player hundreds of hours already Well, I really are just brand new to the series. Like, that shouldn't be the norm. Now, overall, I enjoyed my experience with Street Fighter 6. The customization and art style really made this game super unique compared to others. The many modes to play also made you feel like there's always something to do in the game. However, at times, the game does make it harder for newer players to compete especially with the controller schemes and rank being basically broken. I know I'm a straight up nude, but for other noobs like me, it might be harder to stick around or try the game for the first time. But even if that's the case, I still had a lot of fun and will someday be able to push Beef Wellington to be a Street Fighter champion of the world. I'm giving Street Fighter 6 an 8.8 out of 10. Fun game with lots to do. I felt like the story could be paced more so that's not as boring in the beginning before you get into some really better moments. But honestly, this is one of the best fighting games I've seen since Smash Bros Ultimate. And if you're new to the fighting games, Street Fighter 6 does give you way more of a chance to get introduced to the genre. With some experience and some practice, I'm sure that you can compete against these ranked players. It just will take a little bit of time. But be aware, if you see this beef cake out in the street, be ready to get spin kicked right in the face. Thank you everyone for watching. What was your opinion about Street Fighter 6? Do you think it's good? Do you think it's bad? Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more future content. Until next time, this is Marsman signing off. Peace out, guys.